Good morning. This is Bill, W0GEN. We're going to update ProScan today, and I'd like to uh, share with you uh, some of the information concerning this, this uh, computer here. Uh, this is a uh, Intel. In fact, I'll bring up a little info sheet here. Uh, so I'm running a, uh, a dedicated uh, Intel NUC uh, i5 6260 CPU. Okay, and it's dedicated to ProScan and no other applications are on. Uh, there's applications on it, but as far as running, that's the main reason for this uh, PC. <clears throat> this is a Windows 10 Pro version, the latest version, 20H2. Run an eight gigabyte of RAM, and I did check my my resources. I'm only running about fifty percent of that RAM uh, at at any time. <clears throat> I also use a Anchor speaker for audio, and I use Remote PC, and I'm currently using Remote PC to access this this computer. Uh, there's an STS two hundred. It's in my system. The router and ISP modem, and everything's on UPS. It all works pretty good. That's the picture of the PC that we're going to be updating the the uh, ProScan on. So close that. So I got ProScan here. I did go in and I shut down my Broadcastify. I have a notification in Broadcastify that says that I am. Uh, whoops. Here I have. I'm offline currently conducting software updates. So I'm doing my due diligence to tell people that we're down. And remote scanner over IP, it is currently shut down. So I'm going to go ahead and close ProScan. And I'm going to go ahead and restart it. And I should get a request to update. There it is. So this is the newer version. And I'm going to hit next. I'm going to go to version 7. The newest version has been downloaded. OK, finish. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Uh, I guess it automatically closed it. So there it is. Last time I updated this was 17.0. And there is the XE file. So I'm going to go ahead and I, I like to run things in administrator. So I'm going to right click it, choose run as administrator. So we're going to update to version 17.2. And I accept the license. And yes, I want to go over my existing and I want to create a desktop shortcut. Install. Okay, wizard says it's finished. We're going to go ahead and launch ProScan. Show 17.2.2. Okay. One, two, mercy, one, one, so right zero. Right now, it is showing a blank screen. So I'm going to go up to scanner type. I'm going to verify it is SDS 200. I'm going to go, going to go up to COM port. And I'm going to go ahead and do an auto detect. Oh, I'll click URL setup. There we go. Now we're going to hit. Okay. I'm just going to hit reconnect. Okay. So it looks like I might have to power cycle the, uh, let me look at this real quick. 
I'm going to go ahead and power cycle the scanner. I'm going to do that now. Okay, scanner starting back up. Okay, the scanner's online. Go ahead. 301 will be in service returning. Taylor. Okay, looks like I hear audio coming through. And it looks it's has re, it has reconnected. Now I'm not sure why auto detect there now it shows up. There's just a little delay in in the system. So that is, there's my uh, URL. Okay, close. So I am connected. And I do hear audio. I'm going to mute it. And going to go into remote scanner over IP and start up my server. So I'm checking everything looks good. Password's already in there, so I'll leave that alone and hit start. There it is. Now I'm going to go to source client, and this is my broadcastify. I'll click my auto reconnect back on, and it's all set up. I'm going to hit connect. Connected to broadcastify server. So far, so good. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I like to do this, uh, and this is kind of a bonus for people that have never done this, to remote restart, oops, uppercase, MSM. In, under test and extras, I'm going to run the MSM command, which is going to reboot my scanner. I should have done that before I started back up on the server and, and everything and on Broadcastify, but my scanner is restarting now. And this is real important to me because my primary uh, home base is in Iowa and this is my winter home is down in Texas and this scanner is down in Hidalgo County, Texas. And that's where she, she resides. So here we go. We are now running. Uh, it's back online and you can see I'm, I'm on, uh, turn it on here. I got audio. It's perfect. So I'll mute the audio. I'm not sure how much is coming through this. Uh, let's check and make sure remote scanner is still on. It is. And source client is still on. And it is on. So I'm going to go check out my Broadcastify. Shows that I'm back online. So I'm going to go into here. Gonna get rid of this note and I'm gonna hit update. So I've notified the uh the community that uh she's been uh, updated. So with that said, I believe that pretty much is the complete update. Uh pretty happy the way this is done. Uh by the way, uh, before I did all this, I did do an image of my whole hard drive. A backup image so that way I make sure that if something did go wrong I could always restore my whole hard drive because again it's a dedicated computer just for this instance so with that I will uh, say 73s